Hi, I'm James Glass, and in this video I'm going to show you the Park Tension Meter. It's a TM1. I just built a wheel and uh, tensioned it up, and this is a nice final step to make sure that you've gotten all your spokes uh, tensioned within the acceptable manufacturer's specs. This, I'll show you how this meter works, but first you need to know the overview. It has uh, a series of numbers from 0 to 50 across the dial here. And these numbers are completely arbitrary. This is not pounds per square inch, this isn't Newton meters. Um, this, is, this is a number that has to be converted into something that's useful and which is actually measured in force and then com and then that number needs to be compared to what the hub and rim manufacturer uh, says is acceptable for how much force uh, can be on a spoke between the hub and the and the rim in the old days you would take your arbitrary number off the meter old being like more than a year or two ago and you would actually have to do math or park offered like this downloadable document that went to a Excel file and it was a lot of work. The cool thing now is that you can take this number and Park offers an app and you can simply plug in each one of your spoke readings into the app and see whether or not it is uh, within uh, acceptable nominal values. So it's actually super easy. So you can, you can get your number, plug it into the app, find out if you're copacetic. So let me show you how to hook this up to a spoke. The tool has three silver pegs. The spoke goes between the three pegs, these two outer ones and the middle one, just like so. Squeeze the tool, let the spoke go in, and a number is generated, in this case 23. Remember that's not 23 foot-pounds, it's not 23 newton meters, it's just 23. It's arbitrary solely to this tensionometer. And this uh, tensionometer now I, and by the way, most of mine are pretty much within, within 22 or 23 all the way around. I'd hand built the wheel and, and, and uh, um, I've been building wheels long enough to, to generally know what's right. Um, but let's say I didn't know the feel of how tight spokes should be. Um, this, would, this tool would be unbelievably inval invaluable. At the very least, even if I didn't have the app, I could, I could use this tool to see if all the spokes were within the same random value that the, that the meter generates. That'd be sort of interesting. But for it to be really truly useful, um, I would need to go plug this into the Park Tool app. So, a couple of things. And... So, a couple of things to conclude. The numbers that are on here are not a, uh, a unit of measurement. They're, they must be plugged into an app, or you can do the math, the, math, the formulas on the, the park website, in order to get the force that's being generated by, by the tension on each spoke. And then you need to take that number and compare it to the hub manufacturer and rib manufacturer's acceptable tolerances. And you can look that up online. So. There's, a little, there's multi steps here. Once you take the measurement, plug into the app, see what the numbers are, see if those numbers are copacetic. Interestingly enough, the Park Tool app will give you a red or green light when you plug in all, like this is a 32 uh, spoke wheel, so it has 32 data columns to plug in each number. It'll give you a graph and it'll also give you a, a red uh, X mark or a green little check mark if it thinks the, the tension is within acceptable range. But you should still compare um, the readings that you get once they've been converted in the Park Tool app to the manufacturer uh, specifications, just to make sure. So, um, yep, that's it. Park Tool 
TM1. If you're going to be wheel building, this is a really nice way to do a final quality control check to make sure that you don't have spokes that are too loose or too tight. Um, both of which would be very dangerous to ride, not to mention expensive. Um, if your wheel falls apart either way, because it's too loose or too tight, you're not going to have a good ride. Catch y'all later.